What's going on, everybody? My name is Michael Weir, and today we are going to talk about a brand new entry into the John Wick franchise, John Wick Chapter 4. Now, I was excited going into this movie. It is my second most anticipated movie of the year 2023, so I was ready for this movie. It had been since 2019, since we got an installment into the series. So going into the theater, of course, I was excited for this movie. I knew the action was going to be great. I knew that the story, the world building has always been great in this franchise, so I expected nothing less. But the one thing I couldn't anticipate was just how much of a goddamn action masterpiece this thing was going to be. I, I am still blown away thinking about the different action set pieces in this movie and, and just the world building. Like they still found a way to make the world interesting four movies in. This is a franchise that takes itself serious and I absolutely loved every second of this movie. So if you're here to see somebody say negative things about the John Wick franchise or the John Wick movies in general, then you're not going to see it here because I absolutely love this thing. Let's talk about John Wick chapter four. Oh, but before we do that, I got a really cool tin here from the AMC theater. It's like a John Wick popcorn tin. I think I'm gonna turn it into like a waste basket, but not for like garbage, you know, like, like paper garbage. Like I'm at my desk right now. So like, you know, I wadded up a piece of trash, throw it away. You know, the other day I wadded up a piece of trash. It was like a paper on my desk and I wadded it up and it gave me a paper cut. Yeah. What's up with that? That was weird. I've never gotten a paper cut for just wadding up a piece of paper. That was straight. It was like a tough piece of paper. I also got some coins, some John Wick coins. This got awkward for everybody. Let's just do the review. You and I left a good life behind a long time ago, my friend. And so guys, John Wick Chapter 4 is directed by Chad Stileski and it stars Keanu Reeves in the title role as John Wick. It also brings back all the characters from the previous movies that are still alive and still relevant to the universe. Like Rafi didn't come back from the league. That's too bad because like I was like, where did he go? He was fun in Part 3. He was saying, hey, take talk, Mr. Wick. Like, that was cool. Where'd he go? So I hope to see him again down the road sometime in another installment of this franchise somewhere. But let's get into the movie itself. You've got John Wick, who is still on the run. So at the end of the last movie, he made a deal with the guy in the desert who sat above the high table. He cut his finger off and then he went back to kill Winston. And then he's like, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do that either. So then he, he didn't do that. He sided with Winston. Then Winston shoots him to save himself. John Wick falls off a building and and seemingly dies because he falls like 50 stories off of a building, um, but lived. And that's probably the only thing about this franchise that like up until that point, everything was pretty believable. But then when, it, when, when he falls off a building and he like gets up and he's like, yeah, I was like, all right, well, okay, like. I'm gonna let it slide. The rest of the franchise hasn't, you know, been fast and furious. So I'm gonna let that go. So anyway, here we are in this movie. He is now like healing with the Bowery King with Lawrence Fishburne's character. Lawrence Fishburne starts the movie and he's like, hey, are you ready? I brought you a suit. And he's like, yeah. And so that's cool. So now John Wick goes on his journey basically to destroy the high table. And the first thing he does is goes to the one who sits above the high table and he kills him, shoots him dead, which triggers this chain reaction where the high table now has uh, hired basically this person who is a marquee and that person's job is to kill John Wick. And so he throws everything he can at him, but not just him, everyone that is connected to John Wick in some way. So they destroy the Continental and they go through and they're just killing everybody that has helped John Wick or given him refuge in any of the previous movies. And that's basically the setup I can give you for the movie because I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, at this point, you've got the marquee who's sending just hordes of people after John Wick and John Wick's having to kill them and try to mitigate damage while he's on his way because anybody that helps him is going to end up dead. Let's get into my likes and dislikes, guys. I'm just going to go right off the bat and tell you I don't really have any dislikes for this movie. I think that there are some moments in this movie that are a little bit of a stretch of the imagination. John Wick does some things that when they happen to any normal person, like he's not a superhero, so when they happen to any normal person, like I would not be getting up, but I'm not John Wick. And John Wick is like a super trained assassin, so maybe his body has been through some really nasty things and he's got the adrenaline to just keep moving. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to say there's no dislikes. There's some, there's some moments, but it's not like Vin Diesel catching someone midair, landing uh, with his back on, on a challenger and then getting up and like shrugging it off. It's not like that. But I mean, he does do a few things that are just, there's a few moments in this movie, the things that happen to John Wick, where the, the average, I'd say 99.9% .9 of people could not just get up and keep going with their mission. But he is a man on a mission. So I try to look past that and I try to be like, okay, at the end of the day, 
he is very motivated to get to his goal and he is unlike anyone else in this entire world that is the John Wick universe. And there's going to be other people that have gripes with this movie talking about there's too many assassins in this world, but this world isn't based in our world. That's kind of how I look at it. This is the John Wick world. And so like there's a ton of assassins and there's so many assassins that this currency actually matters. I mean, think of it like this. If you have this underground assassin agency and there's a couple hundred people, this currency is not really going to matter. All these coins, I keep pointing these coins back here, but you're, they're able to use these coins throughout this entire world because there's so many people invested in this universe so yeah that's kind of how i look at it like i'm not mad at that either but let's get into my actual likes of this movie we've got to start with how this movie looks the cinematography in this movie it is a beautiful movie to watch i didn't get to see this movie in imax and i think when i when i go back to see this because i will be going back to see this i'm gonna try to see it in imax because this movie was gorgeous on just a regular screen so i'd like to see this thing in like imax capacity but it is beautiful the third movie was just like this where I, one of the things i said about the third movie was i couldn't believe how beautiful it was on the screen and that's how this this movie feels the way they use colors uh, reflections in this movie like it, it's just a very beautiful movie it's a feast for your eyeballs first and foremost next we got to talk about the story and the runtime so the story of this movie was so intense was so gripping was so good and it was so much more world building like in a movie that were four movies into an action franchise and they're able to world build like this the story never dragged i remember there was only one point in time where i actually looked at my watch to see what time it was and it was halfway through the movie and i couldn't believe that we weren't at the end of the movie because so much had progressed they packed a ton into this movie and because of that it needed a damn near three hour runtime but honestly you don't feel that runtime you have story 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 and these action set pieces throughout which are so incredible which leads me to my final like of this movie which are the action set pieces there are some things they do in this movie that are incredible i've never seen them in an action movie before and i don't know if they'll ever be topped going forward. But specifically to talk about which action scenes I'm talking about, there are two in particular that I want to highlight in this review that I think are worth the price of admission and they're worth buying a second price of admission down the line. Like they are that good. But the two that I want to highlight, the first one is the nunchuck scene. I've never seen nunchucks used to this capacity. And just in that scene alone, it felt like I was watching a dance. Like it was choreographed so well. John Wick would brutally take someone out with these nunchucks and then whip them around his neck so that he was still holding onto them and take them, uh, whatever gun he needed to and take out his opponents. But when that gun was empty or when he got to close combat again, he lost the gun and the nunchucks came off or he'd throw them over his arm and raise the rifle and use it. It was fantastic. Like I've never seen an action set piece put together so brilliantly. And I loved watching this thing and I could just watch it and watch it and watch it. And when it finally ended, I was disappointed because I was like, I need more John Wick nunchucks in my life. I, I, if they make a movie down the road with John Wick in it, I hope that it includes nunchucks. That scene is that good. And the other action scene that I want to highlight in this review has to do with a dragon's breath shotgun. I didn't know these things even existed in the real world. Like, had I not been sitting next to my brother who knows all about this stuff, when, when he saw the gun, like, this guy is so in tune with this stuff. He saw the gun and he was like, oh shit, he's going to use it. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? What do you mean he's going to use it? Like, well, it's a shotgun. We've seen him use a shotgun before. You've never seen anything like the dragon. Dragon's Breath shotgun used in a John Wick movie. It is incredible. And to give you an idea, when when on impact, when these bullets hit the person or the target, I should say, uh, for YouTube, when these bullets hit the target, in <laughs> when these bullets hit their target, they explode and, and just light the target on fire. So while he's shooting people and they're going down, even if they're wearing a vest, they are just engulfed in flames. And this scene goes on from an aerial view of this apartment that he's in. And so you see him clearing each room with this Dragon's Breath shotgun from an aerial view. I've never seen anything like it. Those two scenes in particular, like I said, they are worth the price of admission and they are worth going back to see this thing again. I will say this, guys, if you haven't seen John Wick Chapter 4 in theaters, I you are doing a disservice to yourself if you just watched it at home. You should check this thing out. If you're an action fan at all, you should check this thing out on the biggest screen possible. It will be worth your time and worth your money. Overall, I will say this was an excellent entry into the John Wick franchise. I'm not going to try to rank these movies because I think like they just need to be watched in order. I think 1, 2, 3, and 4 are like a perfect set of movies. And the way they ended this thing shocked me. It really did. And I'm not going to ruin anything for you guys, but the way they ended this movie, and there's a post credit scene, the way they ended this movie and the post credit scene blew my mind. I, I did not expect what they were going to give us. And I think that they took some balls to do what they did. And I'm so 
happy with this franchise. I really am. You could stop at this point and I'd be a very happy man. You could go on. You could tell me John Wick Chapter 5 has been greenlit and we are getting another one next March and I will be there day one like I was for this movie. And guys, I had a great time watching this movie. I had an even better time reviewing this movie with you guys because I love talking about movies with you guys. If you enjoyed this movie, if you got a chance to see this movie, put your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. We can even talk about spoilery stuff down there. I really appreciate you guys taking time to watch my video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that. I got a lot of content coming your way. If you're a bigger horror fan than you are anything else, I cover a lot of horror on this channel as well. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm going to end the video there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, we got through another movie review. I am losing my voice. I don't know what's going on there. But if you like this review, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my reviews, you can check out all my 2022 reviews right there and all my 2023 reviews right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.